All right, here we go. We are doing a review of this book. Uh, the Brain That Changes Itself. It's right over there. Whoops, right over there. Yeah, right there. The Brain That Changes Itself, written by this guy, Norman Doidge. So Norman Doidge, he is a therapist, and he wrote this book, and this book is amazing. It documents all of his experiences going around these places, looking at all these patients who have, have uh, brain problems. And so there's a bunch of, you know, there's a lot of different types of brain problems you can have. Like you can get a stroke, you could get uh, so many different things, like even learning disabilities. And many of these stories are like success stories. So one person, she didn't have a vestibular sensation. And so what that means is that basically she felt she was falling all the time. Imagine that falling all the time. That would be terrible. That would be absolutely insane. Just falling all the time. And many people who, ha who got this, she got it from a drug actually, a drug that was prescribed to her by a doctor. One of the side effects was it messed up her uh, cochlear or cochlear uh, shit that was her vestibular sensation. So like she just fell all the time and it was like, she couldn't do anything. But then uh, I forget who did it, but it was, it's in, it's in the book. But then some guy was like, okay, this is really shitty. How about we fix this? And then he fucking put something on her tongue and that, and the thing that was put on her tongue fucking went into her brain. And what happened was the tongue became her vestibular organ. And so she had to wear a big helmet and stuff like that. And she could like wear it for a little while, take it off. And then there would be a residual effect. And so essentially she just trained herself over and over again. Cause the residual effect only lasted for like, a few seconds, then like minutes, then hours, and then at the end of the, at then, and then eventually she was able to have like walk, talk, like her, like a, her vestibular sensation basically like came back almost like she felt normal again. And it was amazing. It was cool. Like this, that, like these are the success stories, like shit that happens to fucking people. Like they can, like neurologists can actually like fucking fix it. And that's amazing to me. It's awesome that we can actually help people with brain shit. So, yeah, so there's a lot of different types of stuff. He even goes into psychoanalysis a little bit in chapter nine. Chapter nine with uh, <coughs> this guy named Mr. L. And it's fucking awesome. Like, he basically goes through, walks through an entire, like, psychoanalysis, like, session and, like, what happened and all that. And I was like, whoa, geez. There's a, there's, like, there's a lot of information in this book, but... It's like condensed in such a way that each one is a story and the story is very easy to remember. Like you can just read a, you can just read it, like maybe highlight a few things. Like I use sticky notes a lot. I use a lot of sticky notes, but that's a, it's, it's a bit of a bad habit, but you know, it helps me. I think I can look around for stuff. Cause I, cause like once I read the book, it's not like I'm done using it. It's like I use it all the time. Cause it's like, oh wow, I remember something that happened. It's like, oh, where, where did I, where did I see this? It's like, oh, it's here. Cool. But yeah, so it's fucking, so it's an amazing book. I love this book so much. I'm really glad that my professor recommended it to me and got it because it's just, you know, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read something from Oliver, St Oliver, Oliver Sacks. Fascinating. Deutsch's book is a remarkable and hopeful portrait of the endless adaptability of the human brain. So basically this book just goes over neuroplastic stuff. And so what neuroplasticity means is like the brain is plastic. That means it changes. That means it can adapt. That means that it's not fixed. You know, all of these, like for the longest time, people thought the brain works like a machine. It's like, no, the brain is a really fucking weird, complicated organ. And we don't know how it works. How the fuck does it even produce self-awareness? That's weird. What the fuck happens? I don't even know. It's strange. It's so weird. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about because it's just, there's a lot to talk about, you know, apparently, like he, he told me, uh, Norman Doidge writes a lot about like Freud and how he actually predicted, uh, that like, like Hebb's law and what Hebb's law is basically that neurons that fire together, wire together. And so what that means is that basically you can associate things with like a certain context. So like if you listen to classical music and then do like schoolwork or something, then it's like classical music becomes like schoolwork time. Like that's just what happens. And so I, I already figured out what I was just talking about. 
But uh, neurons that fire together wire together. So yeah, it's basically Freud actually predicted that. Freud predicted all that. Freud predicted that. He predicted the fucking synapses. It's fucking crazy. I didn't know Freud was that smart. But he predicted it before Hebb did. And Hebb like, was like 60 years after or something like that. But that's just show, that just shows that psychoanalysis is like... There's like psychoanalysis is no jokes. Psychoanalysis is fucking real. It's fucking awesome. And so, yeah, it's just fucking, it's just so cool. Like the fact that the brain can change itself. Like it fucking, it can. And we know how it can. And you can apply any neuroplastic, you can apply a few neuroplastic techniques in this book to yourself. And like it works. It works. I learned how to read faster. Uh, as I read this book, and I was like, oh, wow, holy shit. And I'm, also, my handwriting's getting a little bit better, because that's also a problem. Uh, but yeah, essentially, it's just so, just so cool. There's so much information, and it's easy to remember. You know, it's all these things and more. You know, maybe it'll even shed light on some of your problems if you have, you know, learning disabilities or anything like that. Or if you just have bad handwriting, you know? So, I think it's awesome. I think The Brain That Changed Itself is an awesome and amazing book that might might not change the entire field, but it's definitely going to be a stepping stone for future developments in, uh, in psychology and neuroplasticity because, you know, he, he even says it in the book, uh, psychoanalysis is a neuroplastic therapy because it just gets you to bring implicit thoughts back into consciousness and then once they're in consciousness, you can play around with them. You play around with them when they're in consciousness. And it's so cool. It's awesome. And it's, I love it. I love psychoanalysis. I love Norman Deutsch. It's awesome. I'm very excited about this. But, uh, yeah, no, that's just a quick little video about Norman Deutsch. If you're interested at all in how to hack your own brain, buy this book. If you're interested in all in, if you're interested at all in any sort of, uh, success stories or, you know, how people overcame problems. It's like, this is a book for you. Also, just, just, just to let you know, it's not good or it's not, uh, it's not, uh, what is it called? It's hard kind of cause like uh, some of these stories, like some of these stories when they apply neuroplasticity to it, it's like hard to actually like, cause like the people are struggling so hard cause like part of their brain's like fucking gone and they're trying to like fucking move and shit. It's like, they can't do it. But, uh, you know, no, I actually, after every single, pretty much every single thing is a, is a success story. Uh, one of them is a little bit iffy. You know, this guy, he, his pain and pleasure circuits wired together. And so basically what that means is that he got pleasure from uh, masochistic activities. And so <laughs> he fucking hammered his dick to a fucking board. Oh, it's so fucking cool. It's so fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, that guy, that guy's a legend or some shit. He had, uh, cystic fibrosis. And so basically he turned his, like, disability into, like, something that he would present. So maybe even that's a little bit of a success story. I don't know. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's Norman Doidge, The Brain That Changes Itself. Read it. Uh, if you don't even, if you don't want to read it, just look at Norman Doidge. Uh, he has shit on YouTube, I think. Uh, like, uh... I think he did something with CBC or something like that, but yeah, no, it's fucking, it's fucking awesome. So, see you guys in the next one.